Atasha National Park is a national park in northwestern Namibia. The park was proclaimed a game reserve on March 22, 1907 in Ordinance 88 by the Governor of German South West Africa, Dr. Friedrich von Lindequist. It was designated as Wildschutzgebiet NR2, which means Game Reserve No. 2, in numerical order after West Caprivi Game Reserve No. 1 and preceding Namib Game Reserve No. 3. In 1958, Game Reserve No. 2 became Atasha Game Park and was elevated to status of national park in 1967 by an Act of Parliament of the Republic of South Africa, which administered Southwest Africa during that time. Atasha National Park spans an area of 22,270 square kilometers (8,600 square miles) and gets its name from the large Atasha Pan, which is almost entirely within the park. The Atasha Pan, 4760 square kilometers, 1840 square miles, covers 23% of the area of the total area of the Atasha National Park. The park is home to hundreds of species of mammals, birds and reptiles, including several threatened and endangered species such as the black rhinoceros. The park is located in the Kunin region and shares boundaries with the regions of Oshana, Oshikoto and Atjazanjupa. History <inaudible> <inaudible> Discovery by Europeans Explorers Charles John Anderson and Francis Galton were the first Europeans to record the existence of the Atasha Pan on 29 May 1851. The explorers were traveling with Ovambo copper ore traders when they arrived at Omutjamatunda now known as Namutoni. The Atasha Pan was discovered when they traveled north upon leaving Namutoni. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins of name The name Atasha spelled Itatha in early literature comes from Oshindanga word meaning great white place referring to the Atasha Pan. The high, om called the pan kubus which means, totally bare, white place with lots of dust. The pan is also known as chums which refers to the noise made by a person's feet when walking on the clay of the pan. <laughs> People Areas north of the Atasha Pan were inhabited by Ovambo people, while various ojahororo speaking groups lived immediately outside the current park boundaries. The areas inside the park close to the Atasha Pan had Khoisan-speaking Hai, Om people. When the Atasha Pan was first discovered, the Hai, Om people recognized the Ovambo chief at Ondanga but the Hereros did not. The Hai, Om were forcibly removed from the park in the 1954, ending their hunter-gatherer lifestyle to become landless farm laborers. The Hai, Om have had a recognized traditional authority since 2004 which helps facilitate communications between the community and the government. The government of Namibia acknowledges the park to be the home of Hai, Om people and has plans to resettle displaced families on farms adjacent to the national park. Since 2007 the government has acquired six farms directly south of the Gobab Depression in Atasha National Park. A number of families have settled on these farms under the leadership of Chief David Kamiksab, Paramount Chief of the High, Om. <laughs> European settlers In 1885, entrepreneur William Worthington Jordan bought a huge tract of land from Ovambo Chief Cambond. The land spanned nearly 170 kilometers (110 miles) from Okaukueho in the west to Fisher's Pan in the east. The price for the land was 300 pounds sterling, paid for by 25 firearms, one salted horse, and a cask of brandy. Dorstland trekkers first traveled through the park between 1876 and 1879 on their way to Angola. The trekkers returned in 1885 and settled on 2,500 hectare 6, acre farms given to them at no charge by Jordan. The trekkers named the area Eupingtonia after the Prime Minister of the Cape Colony. The settlement had to be abandoned in 1886 after clashes with the High, Omen defeat by Chief Nahale M. Pingana. German Southwest Africa 
The German Reich ordered troops to occupy the Okaukuejo, Namutoni and Sesfuntine in 1886 in order to kill migrating wildlife to stop spread of rinderpest to cattle. A fort was built by the German cavalry in 1889 at the site of the Namutoni Spring. On 28 January 1904, 500 men under Nahale M. Pingana attacked Imperial Germany's Schutztrupp at Fort Namutoni and completely destroyed it, driving out the colonial forces and taking over their horses and cattle. The fort was rebuilt and troops stationed once again when the area was declared a game reserve in 1907. Lieutenant Adolf Fischer of Fort Namutoni then became its first game warden. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Boundary. The present-day Atasha National Park has had many major and minor boundary changes since its inception in 1907. The major boundary changes since 1907 were because of Ordinance 18 of 1958 and Ordinance 21 of 1970, when the Atasha area was proclaimed as Game Reserve 2 by Ordinance 88 of 1907. The park stretched from the mouths of the Kunin River and Horusab River on the Skeleton Coast to Namutoni in the east. The original area was estimated to be 99,526 square kilometers, 38,427 square miles, an estimate that has been corrected to about 80,000 square kilometers, 31,000 square miles. Ordinance 18 of 1958 changed the western park boundaries to exclude the area between the Kunin River and the Horusab River and instead include the area between Hoenab River and Yushab River, thus reducing the park's area to 55,000 square kilometers square miles. The Odendal Commission's 1963 decision resulted in the demarcation of the present-day park boundary in 1970. Atasha Ecological Institute The Atasha Ecological Institute was formally opened on 1 April 1974 by Adolf Brinkmann of the Southwest African Administration. The institute is responsible for all management-related research in the park. Classification of vegetation, population and ecological studies on wildebeest, elephants and lions, and studies on anthrax were among the first major topics to be investigated. The EEI has collaborations with researchers from universities in Namibia, the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, South Africa, Australia, Norway and Israel. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> Atasha Pan The salt pans are the most noticeable geological features in the Atasha National Park. The main depression covers an area of about 5,000 square kilometers 1,900 square miles, and is roughly 130 kilometers 81 miles long and as wide as 50 kilometers 31 miles places. The hypersaline conditions of the pan limit the species that can permanently inhabit the pan itself. Occurrences of extremophile microorganisms are present, which species can tolerate the hypersaline conditions. The salt pan is usually dry, but fills with water briefly in the summer, when it attracts pelicans and flamingos in particular. In the dry season, winds blowing across the salt pan pick up saline dust and carry it across the country and out over the southern Atlantic. This salt enrichment provides minerals to the soil downwind of the pan on which some wildlife depends, though the salinity also creates challenges to farming. The Atasha pan was one of several sites throughout southern Africa in the Southern African Regional Science Initiative Safari 2000. Using satellites, aircraft, and ground-based data from sites such as Atasha, partners in this program collected a wide variety of data on aerosols, land cover, and other characteristics of the land and atmosphere to study and understand the interactions between people and the natural environment. <laughs> Dolomite Hills The Dolomite Hills on the southern border of the park near the Anderson entrance gate are called Ondendozananandana, meaning place where young boy herding cattle went to never return, probably implying a high density of predators like leopards in the hills, giving the mountains its English name of Leopard Hills. The Halali area is also home to Dolomite Hills within the park, with one hill inside the camp and the nearby Twi Kapis. 
Western Atasha is also dominated by Dolomite Hills which is the only place in the park that has mountain zebra. Topic: <laughs> Climate. The National Park of Atasha has a savanna desert climate. The annual mean average temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. In winter, the mean nighttime lows are around 10 degrees Celsius, while in summer temperatures often hover around 40 degrees Celsius. As it is a desert, there is a large variation between day and night. Rain almost never falls in the winter. <laughs> Vegetation types Saline desert The pans in the park are mostly devoid of vegetation with the exception of the halophytic sporobolus salsus, a protein-rich grass that is used by grazers such as blue wildebeest and springbok. The areas around the Atasha pan also have other halophytic vegetation including grasses such as sporobolus spicatus and odyssea posinervus and shrubs such as suida articulata. Woodlands Most of the park is savanna woodlands except for areas close to the pan. Mopane is the most common tree, estimated to be around 80% of all trees in the park. The sandvild of northeastern corner of Atasha is dominated by acacia and terminalia trees. Tambati trees characterize the woodlands south of the sandvild. Other types of vegetation <inaudible> Savanna Dwarf shrub savanna occurs areas close to the pan and is home to several small shrubs including a halophytic succulent Salsola atashensis. Thorn bush savanna occurs close to the pan on limestone and alkaline soils and is dominated by acacia species such as Acacia nebrowni, Acacia luteritzi, Acacia mellifera, Acacia hebiclata, and Acacia tortillas. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Grasslands. Grasslands in the park are mainly around the Atasha pan, where the soil is sandy. Depending on the soil and the effects of the pan, grasslands could be dominated by one of the Aragrostis, Sporobolus, Monolitrum, Odyssea or Eniapagon species. Fauna <laughs> 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 The park has about 114 mammal species, 340 bird species, 110 reptile species, 16 amphibian species and 1 species of fish up to 49 species of fish during floods. Topic: History By 1881, large game mammals like elephants, rhinoceroses and lions had been nearly exterminated in the region. The proclamation of the game reserve helped some of the animals recover, but some species like buffalo and wild dogs have been extinct since the middle of the 20th century. Professor. P. Showman, a writer from Ojiwarango, was appointed game warden in 1951 and he considered the grasslands to be severely overgrazed. A bone meal plant was constructed near Reetfontein and culling of zebras and wildebeests began in 1952. Official records indicate 293 zebras and 122 wildebeest were processed at the plant, but conservationists claimed thousands had been culled and successfully forced the plant's closure during the same year. The drought that began in the year 1980 resulted in the largest capture and culling operation in the history of the park. 2,235 mountain zebras and 450 plains zebras were captured, culled or sold. 525 elephants were culled and processed at a temporary abattoir near Olifantsris. Since 2005, the protected area is considered part of a lion conservation unit. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mammals. Commonly seen mammals in the park, past and present are listed in the table below. Topic: Birds. 
This overview is only one indication of the diversity of birds in the park and is not a complete list. Tourism All lodging and camping accommodation inside the park is managed by Namibia Wildlife Resorts There are five sites inside the park with lodges and four with facilities for camping. All sites have game-proof fences. Dolomite Camp In the past, tourists were not allowed to go west of Ozenjut Giambari and the only exception to that rule were registered Namibian tour operators and guests staying at Dolomite Camp. It was built in 2010 and can be accessed from the Galton Gate or through the park along the 19S Latitude Road Since 2015, western part of Atasha is open to all tourists. Halali. The Halali Rest Camp was opened in 1967 and is located about midway between Okaukueho and Namutoni. Namutoni Namutoni is also a former police and military station in the eastern part of the park, 123 kilometers 76 miles from Okaukueho. Fort Namutoni was rebuilt in 1957 when it served as a rest camp for winter visitors to the park. Okaukueho Okaukueho was founded as a German Southwest Africa military outpost in 1897 in an effort to control spread of foot and mouth disease. It later served as a police station and it was formally opened as a rest camp in 1955. The Okaukueho Tower was built in 1963 modeled after the old police station tower in the area. Okaukueho has a restaurant, a post office, souvenir shops, two swimming pools and a tourist information center where visitors can record their daily observations. There is an observation deck at the Okaukueho waterhole, which is floodlit at night for the benefit of tourists staying overnight, to observe nocturnal wildlife at the waterhole. Onkoshi Onkoshi is an exclusive property inside the park and is located near Stinkwater. Olifensris campsite is the newest camp to open inside the park. It is located between Okaukueho and Dolomite. It does not have any accommodation in rooms or bungalows and offers a camping-only experience. The main attraction here is glass-fronted hide which overlooks a waterhole. Topic properties and lodges listed alphabetically Anderson's Camp Dolomite Camp Eagle Tented Lodge and Spa Amanya Game Lodge Ipacha Game Lodge and Spa Atasha Aoba Lodge Atasha Safari Lodge Atasha Village Gabus Game Ranch Halali Camp Hobatera Lodge Makuti Atasha Lodge Mopane Village Lodge Mashara Bush Camp Mashara Bush Camp Mashara Outpost Namutoni Camp Okaukueho Rest Camp Okutala Atasha Lodge Ongava Lodges Onguma Bush Camp Onguma Tented Camp Onguma the Fort Onguma Tree Top Camp Onkoshi Camp Royal Impala Private Villa Tasheri Lodge Uri's Safari Lodge Villa Mashara See also Okanjima <laughs>